You too, what's going on? We back at it like a crack addict in this game, bro. We turned into the Spider-Man 2 walkthrough. Now I know during my last video, it's been a lot of technical difficulties. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to fix it. I'm trying to be good. But I hope y'all enjoying this so far because this game is is fire. I'm like that with the story is going to so far. So let me know if y'all just won't just keep seeing this or you won't uh, see something else during I'm playing this as well. Like I know you don't want to keep seeing the same video, but this is a new game. So I'm trying to get through this and enjoy this as much as I can. So hopefully y'all um, enjoying this ride with me, man, because this has been a fun game so far. Now, any point in the video, if you if I go quiet or anything, that's because I'm trying to let the dialogue go through, I'm trying to let the cutscenes do its thing, not talk over it, do too much over it. But I hope y'all understand. Like I, I'm still here, but I'm just letting the story just do its thing and try to uh, react to it with y'all at the same time because it's obviously my first time you know playing this story too so we just going through it together so i'm just trying to be as quiet as possible and take in the stories as, as well as with y'all we really got to do this with the mask on depends relax i'm not trying to get my ass kicked by my nephew again Your dad used to give me that exact same look. Kid? Martin Lee. Someone got him out. I know what you're thinking, Miles. This is not on you. We can't let him live up here. It's just another kind of prison. It's not that easy. Never said it was. But sometimes you gotta push the past away so you can make room for the future. That's actually why I called. Need your help getting something. Could get it myself, but... Parole means Prowler's retired. What is it? Just some old tech I gotta get off the street. Stashed it by a decommissioned Roxxon lab near Central Park. Yeah, I know the one. Are you really putting Prowler behind you? Behind us. You getting some? How did you... Miles, that Lee business? Don't be stupid. Yeah, yeah. I'm serious, Miles. I've heard this dude can turn your brain into scrambled eggs. Leave it alone. Now, what else is going on with you? I'll School, college, anyone you like? I don't know. So there is someone. I'm here. What am I looking for? Just use your eyes, nephew. I uploaded some prowler code into your mask when I swiped it. Of course you did. The stash stays hidden until it detects the code from my suit. So this is like another little side mission we gotta do for the Prowler in this game too. Uncle Aaron, aka Prowler, is back in there, huh? You gotta be careful because Craven is on his list. He on his list, so he gonna be on the hunt for him. So he talking about he retired, but he ain't gonna be retired for long when Craven come through. Okay, I'm pressing the buttons. What's going on? 
Oh, I think I know what the problem is. My settings is switched around. My R2 and L2 is my L1 and R1. And it's, um, since I'm pressing it this way, I don't think it's supposed to be doing it that way. So I might have to switch my settings back around. So give me a moment and I'll fix this because when me pressing it this way, it seemed like it don't want to function that way. So I got to switch this around. So give me a minute. Be right back. Okay, I fixed it, so now it's doing it. I don't know why I can't do it the other way. I, I know it ain't supposed, probably ain't supposed to be that way, but hey, I can switch. I can switch back after I get done with this little side I'm mission. Back. So since this gonna be a side mission, I'm gonna be doing these on my own time. You won't be seeing as much as these, but if anything interesting pops up while I'm doing these side missions, of course you already know. I'll record it and then you'll see what's going on if it's a, a important part of the story or not. Another gate. I don't know why the controller feel like I got haptic feedback on when I turned that uh, setting off a, a while ago, but on here, when I was depressing the buttons, it felt like I was feeling the triggers, and that's a little that's, that got me a little discombobulated a little bit, but of course, I'm going to turn the setting off, but when I need it during these side missions, I'll turn it back on. You should be seeing how to get inside now. Got it. Wanna finally tell me what this is? All suit prototypes. Feel free to keep it. Some good tech in there. Cool. Could definitely use this. Okay, you receive the rare tech part. Use your resources to unlock new suits, gadgets, and suit tech. Okay. So this is basically to help. Okay, I see on the left, I gotta do stuff with health, damage, focus, and traversal. So collecting the um, parts will help me get those together. Okay. So I'm definitely going to be doing that. You try to get all the upgrades I can to make this um, not as challenging as it is, but I'm still going to keep some parts of it challenging. Like I won't collect all of it right away to make and not to make the game too easy for me. But, you know, we still got to make it interesting. Listen. This isn't the only stash. Unk. Whoever freed Lee sounds like my tech is right up their alley. I want it falling into the wrong hands. You're the only person I trust with this. Okay. I got you. Coordinates are in the mask. Thanks, nephew. Don't be a stranger. Wonder what Ma's gonna say about this. Oye, Miles. Me enteré de lo que pasó con el transfer y con... Está bien. Sí, Ma. Todo bien. Estaba ayudando a Uncle Aaron with some stuff. Ah. ¿Y cómo está él? Está tratando. Pues qué bueno. Mami, te veo en casa. And before you ask me again, estoy bien. Te lo juro. Te quiero. Let's head out into the city. See what's going on. Maybe we can find Lee while I'm at it. Okay, dude. I can talk again. Hit me. Club fair, remember? You on your way? Oh, right. That's today. Mr. Atlas is confirmed to be here. He's got the best music technology program in the state. And I heard he's talking scholarships. I have so many questions for him. Be there soon.
competed from hard to keep a job. I was struggling during college or well, high school. I forget already if he was in, in college. I think he is. But um, or trying to get into university, that's what he's trying to do. Yeah, that's it. It's hard to do that when they Spider-Man. Hey, Miles. What's up? Hey, good to see you. Man, I can't believe Mr. Atlas is going to be here at BV. Maybe one of those scholarships has my name on it. If he likes my sound. So far, I have no complaints about anything in this game right now. I'm, uh, everything seems real smooth. I love the fall damage mechanic too. I have that set on. New reproductive technologies are on the horizon. Check it out on this brochure. We've got preventative contraception information. Please consult your parents and your primary care physician. They'll help you find what's right for you. Yes, those are free. Remember to stay safe. Glad we have people on campus who know about these things. Now what's back here? Can I interact with anything back here? Or no? It don't seem like it. I gotta go on the other side. Okay, these are all these clubs and everything you gotta get into. Okay. Let's see it. Miles, glad you made it. Oh, hey Mr. Sinclair. Oh, hmm. I just love seeing all this innovation in action. Oh, have you heard about the chemistry club? They're filling in while Miss Ferguson gets ready to demo the new robotics drone. She's running late. Presentation's on the main stage. Oh yeah, I'll try to make it over there. Enjoy the show. Thanks. See you around. Hey, Miles, over here. Hey, if it isn't Morales, the music master. What's up, Delisai? You here to see that university rep, Mr. Atlas? Yeah, definitely. Nice astronomy booth. Thanks. You should stop by later. I made a 3D model of Saturn, but guess this. <laughs> it's cake. I'll save you a slice. Hmm, thanks. Hey. You made it. I want to talk to him about that computational physics program. We got your missing person report half an hour ago. What happened? That's just it. We don't know. She left to get something from her car and then never came back. I just heard two words, missing in person. So I'm going to say yes. Go ahead. We'll save your seat. I gotta catch up to the principal. Maybe I can find out more. It's always a bad timing, bro, but he always there at the worst time to be there for for the uh the nymphs when distress. Cause Anytime when some he try to do for they when they try to do something for themselves, some always have to happen for them to have to go go away to what actually will help them in their actually own personal life, which which is sad that they have to live that way. And the other way that they live, they get they can get a little bit of love, but no, they don't actually get the love that they deserve. I really need to stop playing this like late at night, so because I really want to you know scream loud and, and all that stuff when hype moments pop up but i can't do that and i don't want to wake my neighbors up with me screaming and they call them their complaints because i'm doing what i'm doing 
So I'm sorry for for all this. Please find her. We'll do our best. Miss Fergus is missing. Oh, man, sounds like she's still wearing her fitness tracker. Wonder if I could find that signal. All right. Let's see where this fitness tracker is. Last known location, Dawson Harbor. Beginning text-to-speech call with Haley Cooper. Miles, Mr. Atlas just got here. ETA? Oh, man! Gotta find Miss Ferguson first. Be there when I can. He's handing out scholarship applications right now. Uh, can you get one for me? I'll do better than that. Sent you a link. Thanks. Good luck. And hurry. So now we're doing some stealth, huh? Well, let me see if my stealth game pretty good right now. Because I feel like in stealth games, I do pretty decent, but I always mess up at the end or get caught by some stupid stuff. But for me being like playing this game late at night, I'm sorry about that. I would try to record a little earlier so I can get a better, better, more better reactions out of me in these videos so I won't sound plain or nothing because that's not my intentions or nothing. I'm just trying to be respectful. I don't want to be, you know, or get kicked out. So bear with me. I'm like, I'm, I'm here. I'm loving the game. I'm just holding in my reactions as much as I can. But if I get loud at some point, then it just slip out. Genki here showed me some of your samples. Good stuff. Particularly your song called Swinging. What was your inspiration? Uh, yeah. I was, uh, just swinging one day and thinking. Uh, the tune just kind of came to me. Interesting. And can you tell me about what's important to you in life? Being there for people when they need me. Being reliable, trustworthy, someone people can depend on. Very interesting. And finally, why do you think you'd make a great addition to our school? I don't give up. And, uh, I care about doing the right thing. I won't let you down. Fascinating. Well, Miles, thanks for your time. I think I've got enough here. Thanks. Uh, do you want my email so we can stay in touch, or, uh... That could have gone better. Maybe I can make it back to BV in time to meet Mr. Atlas in person and clarify some things. Okay, I found her. Can I not go through here? Is this? Is oh, it's glass. I thought I couldn't. I thought I could just go straight through. I didn't know it was just glass in there. I thought it was just all open. Oh Lord, almost messed that up. Thank God Miles can go invisible. Because if that was just Peter, I would just get caught. Now, let's see if I can go through this flawlessly and not get caught by anybody. Okay. Oh, no. Did I get caught already? But I'm invisible, though, so how can he see me? Okay, I, uh, I can, I got caught by a few. He the last one too. Well, not the last one, he, he about, about to get him and then get the last person. I don't know why I'm still trying to do like stealth and I got caught. I can finally go over here now. But I had found her earlier, so why he couldn't let me get her? Oh, I guess I just had to take everybody out first. I got you. Are you okay? I'm fine. But who are these people? How do they know I work for Rand? Let's figure that out when we're not in the hostage situation. You hide. I've got these guys. <laughs> Now, let me ask y'all a question. Do y'all think Miles is the most powerful Spider-Man of all time? 
Or do y'all still think Peter is the, the main, you know, powerful Spider-Man? I mean, don't get me wrong, we all love the OG Spider-Man, but Miles have so many tools in his kit. Like he got the Venom Punch, just he can go invisible, just his strength, his 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 ability alone is just too much, bro. He's just seen overpowered to me. And have we been seeing in the movies, his younger self, of course, especially the newest one, how he took on the whole Spider-Man little the club, I don't know what you want to call it. I forget what it, what they call themselves, but since he went against every, every single one of them and made it out just on his own, that shows something how how powerful Miles really is. Man, I'm tired of these big dudes. Every Spider-Man game, these big dudes is a major problem, and I can't. My parry is not up to par just yet, but I'm gonna get it down soon enough. Now I know Peter have his suit, um, his suit abilities to help him out now. But if Peter didn't, you know, use his head like he always do and build technology to help him, he'll probably just be just the regular like Spider-Man that he always is. Man, I hate these big dudes, man. Get leave me alone. How many how many times do I have to hit you? And the suit powers really can help him like kinda catch up to how Miles is when he got his abilities. I don't believe it. You took them out by yourself? It's in my job description. Ready to go? Are you going to carry me? Sure. I've carried people before. As long as I can get verbal confirmation that if I throw up on you, you won't sue me. Uh, consider this confirmation. Just try to tell a brother first. <sighs> Thanks to Spider-Man, our treasured teacher, Miss Ferguson, is back with us safe and sound. To show our gratitude, it is my honor to declare Spider-Man the official hero of Brooklyn Visions. <laughs> you are always welcome here, Spider-Man. Thank you. And now, back to the Quan. We've got a robotics demonstration to do. Much time. Hi, Miles. I appreciate your dedication to interviewing, but I could tell you were clearly busy with something important. Mr. Sinclair put in an excellent word for you, as did Principal Evans. So let's do this right and meet this week on campus, in person. Got a few app requests popping up on BB's campus. Thought I'd call you directly. Hey, Pete, you ready to come by the Foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from MJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this Foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah, whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. I was wondering what this place was. Uh, 
That's Emily's tree. This is perfect. You made it. I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place... Right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... I got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission, to heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees, or to be more precise, on bee predators. Do anyone else know notice with uh with Osborne he was wearing he he steady wearing a green shirt and a green tie. Is we getting like a little tease of him being the green goblin at some point? Will we see him as a green goblin in this game or no? Or is they just leading it up to it? I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. The carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Wanna see how? Whoa, this is cool! These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Oh, nice! Okay, cool, I'm liking this. Now, do I have to aim or is it like aim assist or is it just, I just shoot and it automatically just kill them? I'm gonna test that theory out. Hold on. Let me see. I'm trying to aim a little bit just just in case I have to do aim. Let me see. I really didn't aim for that one. So it just went to him. But you do have to aim a little bit to get them. I see. You're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. 
It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance I can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but, uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. That's crazy, a green goblin got a lizard working for him to help out Harry with venom powers. Cause all of this is going to be a, a just a disaster. Now we know at some point we're going to have to fight Lizard because we've seen in the, tra in the trailers that we was chasing him and of course he was attacking us so at some point he going to turn back into Lizard. So hopefully we'll figure out how and why. Start. The origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks of life may provide a potent clue. as much as I can right now. Did you see the monthly schedule update? I did, and I was very disappointed. Really? Well. Beehives show complex group decision making and group locomotion. Swarming is an annual process in which the colony expands and splits. The Emily May Foundation has discovered that specific changes in the honeycomb's vibrational spectra precede a primary swarm. This research will help beekeepers support healthy swarming without invasive observational techniques for optimal health and reproduction in our beleaguered bee population. Drones. Yeah, uh, doing a little cross collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultra light drones using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will, by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. The need for 
medical organ transplants far outnumbers available donors. An innovative solution uses 3D printing technology to create custom replacement organs, decreasing the likelihood of transplant rejection and increasing the chances of a successful outcome. Here at the Emily May Foundation, this cutting edge work is being put to use saving lives. What's this? Some kind of radiation treatment, maybe? Wonder if this is what they used for Harry's treatment. Let's see what's going on here. Maybe I can help. Oh, yeah, that would take a while. I'm not sure there's time to dig in now, but I'd sure like to come back and work on this later. So many cool things here. Looks like Connors is putting the research he did after he lost his arm to good use. Wonder if he regrets testing that serum on himself. It must be unnerving walking around with dormant lizard DNA in your body. Imagine coming to work here every day. It's almost too good to be true. I could start paying off the mortgage. On your uh, but what if Spidey work gets in the way? <sighs> Gotta think this through before signing on. Hey, what are you doing with these bikes? We're working on ultra-efficient batteries, charged by bicycles. These bikes? Can I ride them? Not right now. But when they're road ready, we'll need people to test them. Nice. I'll try to come back. Cool fish. Not just fish, research subjects. Want to feed them? Yeah. Japanese koi fish have well-studied pigmentation variation, which is ideal for our research into enhanced reflectivity. Stacks of intracellular anhydrous guanine crystals. Separated by cytoplasm, we're finding it very useful for eco-friendly roofing materials. So cool! <laughs> 